Oh, we're starting? What up, fellas? It's your boy, Johnny, and we are in the midst of fall. The Balloon Fiesta is happening right now in my hometown. We got colder mornings, colder nights. It is by far the best season for lifestyle and for getting fly. So, since it is the best time to look fresh, it is also that time you start to experiment with your own taste and fashion. So today we are going to talk about six ways to elevate your own personal style. Also leave a comment down below your personal ways to elevate your own style because really, I'm just some kid yelling at a camera. I ain't no expert, okay? Plus I love learning from you guys, so drop a comment down below. Let's do it. Before we throw any garments on your body, I think this season alone is the best season to understand color blocking. And it all starts with understanding the color wheel. First, let's address the two simple concepts of color blocking, monochromatic, and complementary colors. Monochromatic color blocking means only one shade, tone, or hue of a color. And complementary colors are opposite sides of the color wheel. So with the monochromatic look, mono means one obviously. You're just gonna pick one color and adjust the shade, tone, hue, all of that means the same thing in order to compose your monochromatic look. The safest way is sticking to grayscale. So black, white, everything in between. The grayscale monochromatic look suits everyone because everyone has black denim, gray shirts, white shirts. You don't really have to think about color and it's just very easy to compose. Now if you're more bold, you can try out other colors like earth tones those look really good check out my other fashion homies on their takes on the monochromatic look it looks fresh now complementary colors are obviously colors that complement each other now when you look at complementary colors you will see that they are on opposite sides of the color wheel the easiest go-to for me is red and green now the trick is with complementary colors is that you don't have to be truly strict to that specific color what you can do is adjust the hue shade or tone of that color and you'll see that it is still a complementary color my go-to is olive green and red olive green is obviously green with a darker shade to it but it still complements the red color so i've really been feeling these union la jordan ones along with all of green cargo pants. That's a vibe for me. Now next up is experiment with other aesthetics. Now, I know you may be like this because I was. I was so fixated on fitted clothing. Everything, and I mean everything, had to fit nice and snug on me. But yeah, I get it, it makes sense. You work out hard, you watch other YouTubers that talk about how everything should be fitted on you. There's nothing wrong with that, but how can you actually know what's for you and what isn't? At least other YouTubers have tried out all these other aesthetics and decided it wasn't for them. So when I started changing the fitment of my clothing, diving more into streetwear and all the aesthetics it has itself and even wearing fitted clothes again and diving into those areas of dapper and casual my personal style has elevated tenfold and it will for you there's a ton of ignorant fellas that just stay in what is comfortable with them knocking on trends saying if you're over 30 you have to dress more mature when in reality fashion is all about expressing who you are as a person not expressing your age or to express for someone else once i wore less fitted shirts and skinny denim and incorporated baggier cargos, minimalistic fits, testing out tech wear, things really did change. I feel like wearing what I want and not wearing what is going to impress the ladies or other people, just some shit old Johnny would do. Plus, now I can wear fitted clothes and baggy clothes without feeling anything, only because I wanted to wear it. Give it a shot, fellas. Now the next tip that is going to elevate your style is accessories. So accessories really are what personalize your outfit and makes you, you. You know, whenever you first get a car and you have a friend that has the same car as well, what's going to differentiate you guys is the accessories that you throw on your car. Maybe you tint your windows and your taillights. Maybe you throw something on your rear view mirror. You switch out your shift knob, you throw on a front lip, or you have a trash bag around your shifter like my mama does. All these little things are what's tied together to the car and makes that car your car. That is how I think of accessories. Now, there are a ton of accessories. My favorites right now include bandanas, which I typically tie around my belt loop or around my arm, tactical belts which I throw an accessory on top of that accessory which are pins, and also my own keys on a tactical carabiner. I also cannot forget about jewelry. You can get them from anywhere. I've gotten a lot of them from my local shops, gift shops, and all that. I also get them online, and the best place to start your accessory journey is from the sponsor of today's video, Rose Gold and Black. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, shout out to the OGs. You guys know that I've worked with them before, but I had to pause working with them because at my old job, things was getting really hectic, and it was really hard for me to balance that and YouTube at the same time. But then time freed up, I got to work more on my YouTube, and now I'm full-time on YouTube, and they've been a long time supporter and also helped me get out of my nine to five job by sponsoring my videos when I found some more free time. Now I purchased from them way before they even sponsored any of my videos. And trust me, you're gonna wanna pick up something from there. They introduced new pieces to their collection that look super fresh and that most guys don't typically have. So it's a great way to add to your outfits. Plus you're gonna get a ton of compliments because I've gotten a ton of comments in person and online of people asking me where I get these pieces from. Now you know. Now, I will highly advise purchasing the items at full price because it is a bit pricey. So there's a special link in the description that already discounts all the items I like. Plus for this month, they are offering an additional 15% off for October so you can save even more on these fresh accessories. So go ahead and check out the cool kids only link in the description 
And just to be transparent, I am not making any commission if you guys purchase anything. But if you guys do purchase anything, it does help me out and they can continue supporting my channel. Anyways, let's keep it moving. Next up is to stop caring about hyped brands. I get it, we all have a bit of a hype beast in us, but if your entire wardrobe is from Supreme, Off-White, Dior, or whatever brand it is, then you really need a wake up call, man. Don't get me wrong, brand association is a thing. Hell, I'm hyping up Rose Gold and Black, and I love the culture and history of many of these brands. But then having this mindset is going to translate into when you pick out your clothes in general. If it ain't a hype brand, you don't cop it. Nah, man, don't do that. Instead, if you actually like the item or piece, no matter what brand it is, then you should pick it up. You like Modern Warfare 2? Cop a shirt. You like coffee? Pick up a shirt from your local coffee shop. I found some amazing pieces from shops, airports, museums, and if I'm really being honest, these are the best places to shop. So if you're like me and enjoy vacationing, then why not pick a clothing item up from there? You went there, you got to experiment that city or museum. Recently, I went to Chicago with my girl. We went to the Wonder Museum. I had an absolute blast there, and they also had some great merch to pick. Up. I even found this long sleeve over here from Navy Pier. The wash of this shirt is fire and it was only $15. When I went to White Sands, I picked up a ton of accessories and one that I've also added to my carabiner. When I went to Meow Wolf, I picked up merch and stickers and added it to my wardrobe and water bottle. These items are very exclusive. It's unique to the city, it's unique to that museum or shop, and it is definitely my favorite thing I did to elevate my style. Fifth way to elevate your style is of course layering. You know, when it's hot, you can only really stick to one layer. And then you have to compensate for the lack of layers with your accessories. But when it's cold, their layering really adds to your own personal style. Simple go-to ways are a neutral hoodie under any jacket, but you can also mess with the colors, textures, and patterns. Other ways are throwing a contrasting color underneath a layer, like with this crew neck. It's a darker wash, and I contrasted it with a white layer underneath. Super clean look. Now there are plenty of ways to layer. This ain't the video for that, so just start experimenting and have fun with it. So this last and final point encompasses all the other points I've kind of touched upon earlier, but it deserves its own point. What do you personally like? What is your lifestyle. This is how you truly elevate your style by personalizing it. So when I first got into streetwear and fashion in general, I just stuck with what was hyped and what would get the most recognition. Zipper pants, Chelsea boots, pants tucked into the joggers, I was on that instantly. But the truth is I just looked like everyone else or I was stuck in 2017. Now I get it, trends are hot, they're pretty cool and some can actually look really clean. But to really elevate your style, ask yourself some questions. The more specific you get, the more personality you get to add to your style. What's your favorite TV show or anime? What kind of games do you like? Maybe you played Watch Dogs back in the day and you want to test out tech wear. What food do you like? What is your favorite city? Get as specific as you can. Now for me, I added these items to my tactical belt. These pins aren't just cool looking pins, I got them because it describes me. Mountains are like the Sandia Mountains here in ABQ. A bird describes me making a ton of paper cranes as a kid. Wonder comes from my visit at the Wonder Museum, and soon I'm gonna pick up a New York City pin because I spent the last four years there and it is the best city in the world. I wear a ton of beaded bracelets from Rose Gold and Black because I did a ton of martial arts as a kid, plus I was a Buddhist back then, and would also always wear a gold chain with a Jade Buddha on it, hence why I'm always wearing gold chains in general. Some of my clothes come from cities or landmarks that I visited, like I said earlier. Most of my sneakers come from me playing ball as a kid or skateboarding. The possibilities are endless. And this is, in my opinion, how you truly elevate your style and really make it your own. I know this is one of my longer videos, so if you made it this far, comment. Comment lint roller because I want people to see the comments and think that this video is all about lint rollers. Plus, it's going to be a if you know, you know moment. All right, fellas, I hope this video has helped you out. Follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give this video a like for the YouTube algorithm, please. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. I'm out, bro. Peace.